Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. All of the equipment that I use, I get from Adorama.com, whether it's still photography gear or video gear. Everything that you see me using in this episode, you can get from Adorama. Today, we're shooting in Lake Tahoe, California, one of my favorite places on the planet. And I'm gonna be talking through the basics of how to shoot skiing and snowboarding. Doesn't matter whether you're shooting Olympians or whether you're shooting your friends and family. I'm gonna kind of work through my methodology of how to make cool pictures in snowy environments. Today we're going to be working with Haley. Haley's a local skier from Tahoe, California, and uh, she has a great attitude when it comes to shooting still photos. She doesn't mind hiking, um, hiking a lot, because that's oftentimes what it means. Photography is about repetition, and Haley's got a great attitude. So let's get out on the mountain and make some pictures. Here we are, um, Heavenly Mountain Resort. This is kind of a nice steep pitch. This is really what I'm looking for, is I want something that's backlit. It's sort of midday, so I can't really shoot frontlit. Frontlit's going to look pretty harsh with shadows, so my rationale is shoot backlit. And the beauty of shooting on snow is there's a big white reflector bouncing light right back onto your subject. Today I'm shooting on the Nikon D4S, Nikon's flagship camera. It's the ultimate sports camera. Incredible autofocus, amazing images straight out of camera without processing. I'm using the 70 to 200 millimeter f2.8 lens, Nikkor glass. I do put a Schneider Optics UV filter on the front of the lens, or a clear filter, and what that allows me to do is, just in case the skier wipes out or thinks it's funny and sprays me with snow, I'm not actually getting those snowflakes touching the actual front element of the lens, so I'm really protecting it in this environment. I have a SanDisk Extreme Pro 128 gigabyte card, CF card, inside of the camera. Now the reason I'm using such a high capacity fast card is one, I want the card to be able to keep up with the data getting pushed to the card from the camera. That's not a problem with this card. And two, I want a lot of capacity. I want to make certain that I never have to change cards, or ideally I don't have to change cards while I'm in the field. Haley's hiking up the hill. Um, the reason I have her hiking actually is we found the perfect spot. So I don't want to waste time. If she skis all the way down to the lift, waits in the line, then gets on the lift, takes it up, skis back down, that's like a 15 minute cycle. But if she's willing to hike, she's a fit young athlete. She has no problem walking 200 vertical feet up the hill. We can just get a lot more shot in a short amount of time. I'm, um, I'm in autofocus. I'm using group area AF, and it's amazing on the Nikon D4S. It's, it's as though as long as Haley is in my viewfinder, she's going to be razor sharp. No matter how fast she's moving, no matter whether she's front lit, back lit, I'm completely blown away by the group area AF on the D4S. 98% of the time I'm shooting in manual mode. I'll actually look at my situation, take a few frames, adjust it based on the, the LCD display, see how it looks on the LCD, find that perfect exposure, and then really lock it in. Especially on a day like today where we have just blue skies, there's not a cloud in the sky, the light's not changing, so manual exposure is a good idea. And my vision of the shot really is, I'm on a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, I want to shoot a compressed shot dark blue sky behind Haley. She's backlit, so we're going to have rim light over her shoulders. And what I want to have her do is make kind of a hard turn, high speed slalom turn, right there on the ridge line, so that we actually get that beautiful white snow blowing up against that dark background. A lot of it comes down to communicating with the athlete. So I'm going to try to be very specific with Haley about where I want her to actually make the turns. So one of the other secrets is I always bring these little Motorola walkie-talkies or any kind of walkie-talkie and they allow me to, in high wind, I can communicate with an athlete if they're kind of out of eyesight. It's really difficult to yell when you're in big wide open spaces and there's people around or they're just so far away. So these walkie-talkies are really great tools for communicating because communication is really key to making great photos. Corey to Haley, do you copy? Let's see, how about 200 feet skiers left of the edge of the run? So kind of 200 feet skiers left of the trees. So you're almost going to be fall line, dead center on the run. Okay, sounds good. 
Cool. I'm going to put the radio away and then why don't you count to 15 and I'll be ready to shoot. Okay, so giving yourself that extra 15 seconds just gives you the ability to really get the camera ready, get focus, kind of make sure your composition is good to go. And uh, here she comes. Oh, that was great. Great. That looked good, Haley. That was cool. All right, good job. I think that made some cool pictures. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. That's cool with all the snow behind you. Like maybe even that frame yeah. where it's like you've got an edge. You're kind of on that horizon line. I mean, I would say in general, we got like two pretty cool photos. Okay. That's awesome. Cool. So, so one of the reasons that I'm showing Haley the photos on the back of the camera is it's sort of the ultimate way to show the athlete what's working and what's not working. It's one thing to describe where I want her, it's another thing to actually see it. And so sometimes by reviewing the photos in between takes, it actually really refines the communication and we end up making better and better pictures each time we're really evolving the shot. And that's what we're trying to do at the end of the day is make cool pictures. Everything that I just described at this location, shooting Haley skiing, really applies to whomever your subject is, whether it's an Olympian or whether it's your friends and family. It's about finding a great location, framing the shot correctly, uh, setting the correct exposure, and then really just shooting enough frames and communicating well with your athlete. And the inevitable will be, you're gonna make some cool pictures. You're watching Adorama TV. Videos like this are posted all the time. Tune in, they're free tons of information, and we'll see you soon. Let's go and shoot some more pictures. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.